are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, folks, the backlash against Harrison Bucker is absolutely amazing, man. These people want this man canceled. But yet, when NFL players like uh, Rasheed Rice actually do criminal activity, they're pretty solid. They're pretty solid, man. There's been personalities over there at ESPN that have been coming down on Harrison Bucker. Jamel Hill is actually one of them, but we're actually going to be talking about someone else over there at ESPN. Now, I didn't even know this person actually worked for ESPN, but he is a woke activist that's on, um, I believe, Around the Horn. Yeah. This guy actually says that Harrison Bucker is keeping his job simply because, wait for it, he's white. Yeah, he actually said that, man. This is idiotic, man. Harrison Bucker is a great kicker. Last season, he converted 94% of his kits. Why in the world should the Chiefs actually kick this man off the team? He didn't do anything wrong, man. I mean, in the NFL, not just the NFL, but other sports leagues as well. You can literally beat up a woman and still keep your job. Greg Hardy, anybody? You can actually steal stuff. You can actually do drugs and still keep your job. Harrison Bucker spoke Christianity at a Christian school. And now the woke leftists want this man canceled. This guy at ESPN, man, is insane. He is insane. He wrote a whole article on Harrison Bucker. Let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. So here we go, guys. ESPN article complains Harrison Bucker will keep his job because he's white. Yeah, here we are again, man. ESPN never learns. Never learns. Says here, religion and gender roles are at the center of the controversy surrounding Kansas City Chiefs kicker Harrison Bucker's commencement speech at Benedictine College last week. ESPN added race to that discussion Monday. And Scape, an ESPN website dedicated exclusively to covering race. I never even heard of this, guys. Anscape, it's an ESPN, ESPN um, race-baiting website, man. Published an article titled, quote, Why Harrison Butker's commencement speech comments won't negatively impact his career. Wow. The author is the son and namesake of civil rights activist David Dennis. ESPN added Dennis Jr. to Around the Horn a few years ago as part of his push to overcorrect the number of white guys included when his show launched in 2002. Wow. I haven't watched them around the horn in forever. Many, many years. OK. ESPN deploys Dennis to play the former role of Bomani Jones. Oh, God. Now, we know that Bomani Jones is definitely a race better, uh, which entails finding ways to make stories about race that have nothing to do with race. Not the most grueling of gigs available, is it? This whole Harrison Bucker thing, man. Shouldn't have anything to do race, man. Nothing. Staying on brand, Dennis bewails in the article how Bucker's speech is unlikely to cost the kicker playing time and suggests his race is part of the reason why. Yeah. My goodness. But you got black athletes in the NFL that have not lost their careers, 
They go out there. They do drugs. They commit crimes. They beat up people. They're caught with uh, different drugs and they still have their careers. But Harrison Bucker speaks biblical truth to Catholics. And this man should lose his job. Yeah, ESPN, man, your priorities are definitely misplaced. But this is what he wrote here. Quote, Harrison Bucker delivered a commencement speech at Benedictine College on May 11th. And it featured statements that are at best controversial and more precisely full of anti-trans bias, misogyny and anti-gay bias. Bucker's comments have been met with an NFL statement that's tepid in his rebuking. And while some commentators have ironically turned the stick to sports phrase, usually aimed at um, black athletes who speak up about injustices around on Bucker, he most likely won't suffer any tangible consequences for his for his own comments. Dennis continues, it's a reminder that athletes, especially white athletes, can speak out as much as they want about any number of marginalized groups as long as they are punching down at those who society deems unworthy of defending. Wow. Now, folks, 2020 is when this channel blew up. What happened in the NBA? All of these woke black athletes were kneeling for the national anthem. They were criticizing this country. And guess what? They still got the jobs. People aren't watching as much, but um, you never heard us actually say that, hey, you should actually kick out LeBron James for kneeling for the national anthem. Never said that. But me as a consumer, I don't have to watch the product. I mean, this is insane, man. These these leftist men want Harrison Bucker to lose his career. Even when it came to the BLM NBA stuff, man, I didn't say anybody should lose their careers. I just said I'm not going to watch it. And I haven't watched it. I mean, this is insane, man. It's a reminder when athletes, especially white, white athletes, can speak out as much as they want. Nobody was stopping all those black athletes from doing the same thing. Nobody was. They still got their jobs. But apparently Harrison Bucker is going to keep his job simply because he's white. Now, maybe he's actually thinking of um, Colin Kaepernick when he started kneeling for the national anthem and everything. But thing is, man, Colin Kaepernick wasn't any good. He started kneeling when he lost his starting position. He sucked. Colin Kaepernick wasn't good anymore, man. (laughs) Look at how it says Dennis claims there's a history of white men in the NFL evading punishment for insulting marginal groups as opposed to the inverse. To what examples does he refer? Unfortunately, he never listed or cited a single one. With newsflash, guys, I'm going to tell you something as a Christian, man. If you actually do read your Bible. The Bible. Definitely has verses that tell you, hey. Homosexuality is a sin. That's what the Bible says. We don't make up the rules, but if you are a Christian. You should actually be believing the Bible is the word of God. Harrison Bucker believes the Bible is the word of God. I don't think he's actually concerned about you. This uh, what what is his name? Dennis um, Davis, whatever his name is. See, I already forgot his name, man. That's how irrelevant this guy is. He writes for an ESPN race baiting site. Why do you have to race bait in sports, man? I just don't get it. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.